Which key? Which key? Hey! <laughs> actually is out as well! <laughs> but we need a dent. Swifty. There we go. So oh, we, now nice. have, we now have a nice dent. <laughs> So welcome to a new series where we test absolute crap Timu 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 products for you to see if it's actually worth saving the money. We break it so you don't have to. That's the kind of the thing. They sell all sorts of tools, fixing your car, painting your car, cleaning your car, taking bits off your car and screwing them back on. We're going to see if they actually work because Stu bought forty dollars worth of stuff. Forty dollars on Timu goes a long way, it, it seems. Does. It does, and what we're gonna test on tonight's episode, we have five products. We have one which is an OBD reader with a disc and something else in it. We have another OBD reader with a screen. We have a mystery prize for number five. No Don't idea. know what that no one is. No idea what that is. Some sort of tool that takes off wheel nuts, undoes bolts, but it's universal. So you don't, you only need one tool for the job. And that is gonna fix a dent in our car. You'll see how in a minute. This is a socket, which has got lots of little tubes in it, little barrels, I suppose. Which I've already gone through. Yeah, a universal socket, a universal socket. Yep. I'm desperate to see how that's gonna work. I told, told him about that one. Mm. Yeah. And the first product we are gonna test today is this little beautiful thing. You what know, it? you what know this. What have we so got? This is an, uh, a V310 OBD11 EOBD plus CAN car diagnostic tool for all 1996 and newer OBD2 compliant vehicles. Wow. So That's it reads it codes, from. view freeze frame, vehicle information, real-time curve, erase codes, IM readiness and data stream. Okay. Do you want to know how much I paid for this beautiful well, device? This component that you brought from Guangdong province in China, yep. how much was it, Stu? It was £9.90. Now, £9.90? Now, how much would you pay for one of them for the cars for your garage? Right, for the cars, we have to use a professional piece of equipment. I think it's about five grand for one of them. So, if this does anything like that does, I'm going to be gutted for a start. So, I'm going to tell you the actual, so it shows you on here. It is a Motor Power MP69033 OBD2 scanner. Diagnose your car's engine faults instantly. Boom, fixed. Mechanics are obsolete. It is. So basically, this thing, let's what what are the reviews? 4.7 stars. Out of five? Review? Out of five. That's 93% okay. positive. Uh, but how many are true and how many are bops? Should we have a look? Uh, telling you how good. Yes, let's do the unboxing. Let's have a see what it looks like. First thing you got is a, a user manual. Right. How much was this? £9.90. Less than a tenner. Oh, right. wait, and it's got a user manual. So uh, yeah, that I mean, that, that's two money? quid right there. The moment of truth. Da, 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 da. What do you reckon? Well, I don't know what I'm looking at, do I? You, you're the bloody mechanic. You're supposed to be telling these people, yeah, well, is it worth it? What, how does it feel like? Well, first of all, it feels lighter than the box it came in. So <laughs> that's, something, that's something to say. VIN, DTC, ups and downs. But there's about five, six buttons on here. So it's very buttony. We need to plug it in because this isn't something we can hammer. I mean, we could use it as a hammer, but it's not. So really your good. five grand bit of kit, yeah. we know is going to work. So we don't need to test it against the five grand bit of... Yeah. Honestly, honestly, this is a serious it's only a tenor, it's a review. Tenor. It's, a, it's a serious review, though. We've got to tell the people if Timu works or not. Yeah. Just swinging it about your head like a dickhead. What we're going to do is we're going to plug this in to said testing vehicle, the Micra, uh, because I do know it's got an engine light on. I don't know what the engine light's all about, and I want to know if we can fix it. Because I doubt we can. Because we've got the got, tools to do it with. It's got a turbo on it. It's probably why it's throwing up everything. Oh, but man. Let's get this plugged in and see what this actually let's does. Let's do it. Okay, so this is our £9.90 OBD reader. And boy, does it look like it as well. And show them your proper bit of kit. Five grand, £9.90. Now, what do you expect? Would this tell you the same information as that? I hope not, because I've spent a <laughs> fucking lot of money otherwise. <laughs> right, other than that, right, I don't have, have a clue. There you go. Right, you I'll put take this that. down. Let's chuck this somewhere, yeah, shall we? Yeah, five grand's Gently worth. Do down that. There, yeah. Okay, then. Trusty Mike. Do you know where the, uh, where is it? Where's the OBD uh, port? Do you know where it is? I don't know where it is. <sighs> oh, I found it, I found it. I found, I found it. it. Yep, yep, yep. I'll tell you what, if this works, it's going to really piss me off. <laughs> it, oh, it's oh. double lively. Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the key? That's in the boot, of all places. Of course it is. By the voltage of gauge. Of course, of course. Around menus. OBD. Okay. 
It's 10 quid. <laughs> no, not 10 quid. Not nine even. Nine pound not nine even. Eight. Verify the ignition is on. Check if the scan tool is OBD correct. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, it wants to know if it's turned up, which it is. Oh, yeah, we're definitely on. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Codes for. Oh, here we go. All right, there we go. Codes. Codes. Read, read codes, erase codes. Evaporation system. Well, we took that out and lunched it, didn't we? <laughs> what do I require? <laughs> You control the radio. It's that. like musical chairs. I feel like I've got to find a seat. Find a seat. Right, so I've got EVAP system, which has got a fault in it. Uh, it's 10 cents, apparently, according to that. Oh, 10 cents worth of damage. It's 50 cents, younger brother. Um, <laughs> so it, I've got a code, and it, I, know it's the, I know the EVAP system is faulty because we lunched all that when we put the engine in. Okay. Right, PO 135, O2 sensor. That'll heat. be because of the turbo. Yeah, well, and it's not got the original O2 sensor in it because we've got a wideband in there. Okay. Engine coolant temp sensor, probably. Maybe. Uh, O2 sensor again, bank one circuit. Vehicle speed sensor, that was unplugged for a while, so that code will be in there, do you yeah. remember? Uh, and that's it, and then we're back to emissions control, ev EVAP system. Right, so I'm gonna see. Yeah, let's have a see if it clears. Okay. It'll raise codes, 54321. Erase trouble codes, exclamation mark. Are you sure? Yes, very sure. Erase done. Should we fire up and see if the mill has gone out? <laughs> hey, actually is out as well. <laughs> Nine quid, look at that. If you ever need an MOT and you, they turn all your mill lights on, £9.90 from Timu is basically going to clear your engine faults. For how long? Well, hopefully enough to get through an MOT. But, Owen, you would pass that at the minute if you didn't know about the rest of the car. Would I pass this car? No, I, like, when we first if got it. If you rocked up without any other issues and just had an engine warning light, then you cleared it and then it... No, it. the owner cleared it with that tool. If the owner cleared it, you'd be fine with that, wouldn't you? If the light's not on when you MOT it, it has to come on with the ignition, but if you MOT it and the light's not on, it's passed. Yeah, there you go. So, as far so, as I'm concerned, that's a win-win, nine quid. So this is a winner. That actually did win. Okay, so for £9.90, don't take it to the garage and get them to clear your codes. Have a quick look, Google the code, see what it could be, talk to your mate, get a bit of info. That might, that could save someone a lot of money. Yeah, it would have, it would have saved you 4,900. Well, yeah, we won't get into that, will 4, we? 4,990 pounds and 20p. Yeah. Right out of five? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go five. Yeah. I mean, it works. You know what? I'm gonna keep that in there this There you go, see? <laughs> Every time the light comes on, We'll just plug it in. Right, now on to our second product to yeah. see if it works. Is Owen's all-time favourite. Yes. I am opening it up for you. This Here bad boy is called... <laughs> I'm going to tell you what this is Here called. Here we go, tell me. This is called a two-pieces universal socket wrench, 7 to 19 mm's, professional sockets, portable tools, set hand, multifunction wrench. Hang on, I think there's a bit more to it. <laughs> Repair kit with power drill and ratchet wrench adapter, chrome steel. Where's my, where's my power drill? We didn't get right. a power drill. Now this is a one use yeah. bloody Look thing. at that. It's got, yeah, well, it actually works. See what I mean? Poke it, give it a poke. Poke it, poke Oof. it, it does a yeah. job. But um, yeah, so this is universal up to a seven, 19 millimeter socket. Not only does it come with that, it comes with this bit here which is obviously the adapter for it to fit into whatever oh. you want to fit into. Damn, yeah. pump. <laughs> Can't do nothing, right, can you? <laughs> so first of all, what do you think the quality's like? It feels heavy, because it's full of metal, which is probably the reason why it feels that heavy. Yeah. How good it is, I don't know, but I really want to undo something with it. Well, we know that that's not big enough to put on the micro wheel nuts. Wheel nuts. Yeah, we'll try so, something else. We're going to test the durability of both items before we even try taking off a bolt. Right. It's quite heavy, to be fair. Let me have a look. It's got some weight to the old boy. That. Gir it's girthy It's still as well. in one piece. Did anything fall off? No, you can still finger it. So, test. this piece of machined art and could save carrying around many, many tools. Yeah, you could just have one socket and that would be it. Could save many, many tools. Yeah. Why haven't we done this already? This is £4.48. Not so only good. that, it's got a reviews, 95% positive reviews. Okay. Again, could be a load of crap. But the difference is we're going to be using this with a snap-on, is it? Milwaukee. It's a Milwaukee Dugger Dugger. Yeah, we're going to test it. And we're going to see if it works. So we're going to test something whether we want to take a turbo off or some other crap off of the car. Let's no see what it can car. do. I think that 
No, I don't think. Is it happened. leaking? Was it's, it? No, it's getting fell in water, oh, okay. didn't it? Right. We're going to try that now. Okay. Right. So, what bolt are we trying with this then, Forrest? I figured to go for something simple. Tie her up first. Uh. How about one of these off of here? No. Right. I'm going to use a strap mount because it's easy to get to. Who put what? It's a Nissan. It's supposed to be 30, 12 mil. Oh, I'll be back. It's not a 12 mil. It's not. But if you use this universal one, ah, you exactly. won't need to fuck. This is a problem here that we're showing you live. You go, oh, it's not that one. Oh, it's not that one. You yeah. just need this. One. Right, so that works. Yeah? Not in focus, but yes. I'm only going to tickle it because I've got my small gun on it, but. Universal socket. Here we go. Oh, it's there. Has it worked? <laughs> no. That's done fuck all. <laughs> What's that? Absolutely nothing. Alright, let me try and get this. Try something a bit more um uh <laughs> I don't think we're getting that bolt up work? ever again. Did it work? <laughs> Whee! It's got one. But I I done but I put finger tight. I, now get the now get the prick right, now okay. get the prick out. Well, you wind it back on. See if it'll tighten it up. Right. So hang on a minute. We tried that one. We tried that one. That is buggered. That won't do nothing. That's come off. So let's find another one quick. What an engine mount. Yeah, but there's two other bolts holding it. Don't worry about that. I'm surprised it hasn't fallen apart. Actually. Yeah, I thought, I, it was I thought it was just going to bend it all up. Yeah. Um, another one. Really not. How about the oil feed? I mean, you can try it. It's a big bolt. That probably will undo that because the socket's not. <laughs> okay, that'll do. That's plenty. No, I wouldn't go any further on that. <laughs> I think that's just oh. over tightened that. Universal socket. <sighs> Get it off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's stuck on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, so it's now See? mangled. What are you uh, saying, out of five then? Out of five? I mean, well, you know what? Because it. it did undo a bolt. It did. It, it did. rounded off the others. Uh, a one. Oh, it's come alive again, look. Oh, it's back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's done something. Yeah, but if you need... It still yeah. kind of works. Shall we call this then? like a five out of ten? No, it's out of five, isn't it? So you're going to have to go Oh, okay, one. like a 2.5? Because it kind of worked on some stuff. Yeah, I want and it to go 2.5 though. It's rounded off two of my bolts. I'm now going to have to go and get something else to get them bolts oh, off. That's true. Okay, a one. So it's a one, and that's a strong, like, just about it one. That's, I wouldn't yeah. buy one. That's it. Okay. Pointless. This is why we're testing it for exactly. you. Exactly. Don't buy one. There you go. Oh! Right. This is an OBD reader. Right, okay. Now, which I don't understand, I'm going to go and find this of where I bought it. So. This cost the almighty £4.48. Ooh. Now, I wanted to test this one along with the other one because the other one's a whole bloody thing. Thing, yeah, yeah. This. So how does it work? How oh, does it OBD I'm, things? Well, I'm trying to open it. So what you're supposed to do, first of all, it is called an automotive diagnostic tool OBD2 V2.1 BT reading fault code detector ELM327 automotive automatic diagnostic scanner. Do you know that's exactly what I was gonna I thought that's what it was. Exactly. Yeah. Now it is that. <laughs> There's even less to this than there was to the Not only that, it's something that I have imagined I have not seen for a long time, is it has a CD. Oh Christ. Now it's I would like to know what the CD is for. What? What's what that, is that for? for? You know, on, on, in old days, right. this drive out, when you press the eject and the plastic thing come out, yeah. there was two sizes. Ah. Uh, that's the inner, that's the small bit. I don't know uh, if that's going to be of any use. use. I think that's pointless, but supposedly what you do with this thing is you download an app. We'll do apps, yeah. So we've got to download an app, yep. plug that in, see how good that actually compares against the other one that yes, we've got. Yep. But it was £4.48 and the reviews... It's the lowest one we've got I so far. I can see through most of it. It can't be that I know, I know, but hang on. It's got 4.3 stars. Right, out of five? It's had 96 reviews. 
Right, okay. I can't see where we get the app from. Hopefully there's instruction manual or something <laughs> actually on Timu so to find something. out how we get an app. So Got the first thing is to see if it actually works is download an app. And then we'll get stuck in. It literally, it looks like Lego. Yeah, it looks like a sack You of can shit. see through all of it. But it's four pounds fucking 48. Here we go, it's up top. Bosh. Is that it? Elm 327. Oh, it is. Yeah. Download that. So we yeah. found the app. So when you find out uh, the app, it's we're down. Quid. No, it's downloading the best OBD diagnostic tool. Oh, it's the best. I can feel it now. Guarantee it's a load of shite. Forest, let's get prepared, my friend. You should not use this application. Oh well, that's a good sign. When driving a vehicle, first of all, you'll need to you will need Elm 327 Bluetooth LE 4.0 or Wi-Fi adapter and OBD2. Compatible car, you can ha. buy one on eBay, price less than 20 quid. There you go, so that's what you can uh, get. There we go, Nissan. It's literally given me every single... For the sake of like the difference in this one and the other one... It's faff a little bit, isn't it? It's a bit of faff, isn't it? Don't do a K11 Micra. Just go to the nearest one. K Any Micra. K11, a K13 1.5. I do. Should it flash or something? I don't know. No Bluetooth 4.0 device connect. Okay, is that it? Checking services. Oh, thinking about it. Right, don't touch it. Right. Oh, connected Elm. ECU connect. Oh, it's flashing. Is it? Do you know that other one, that £9.99 one? We've done it by now. We already looked at the codes, erased them, had a little party, and it was still had time left. Oh, it's connected. Now wait there. Live data, let's try it. Uh, coolant temp? No. Right, we'll ignore that one. That didn't work. Evaporative emission, EVAP. Oh, okay. It's so come up the same code. Yeah, it's come up the same code. Then e uh, emission controller, purge control valve circuit. Now okay. function. Yeah. Same codes then? Yeah, but it's, yeah. It does sort of work. I mean, yeah. But. Out of five? It's half the money to do the same thing the other one did. And you got to download an app, was it free? It was free, but it's taken a while. It's a faff. I mean, uh, two and a half, halfway. It's half good, because it half reads things. But that other code reader was bang on it. I think it's being it. generous there. Do you reckon? Two. two. I'll go with a two, because that was faff. And for the sake of a fiver, you can get the other one. Which basically remaps your car to a thousand horsepower. Yeah, so pass me that. You want this? Yeah. All right. Okay. Right. Now we move on. I have seen this all over the tinter webs. Right, okay. I've seen it over the tinter webs, so where you heat up this, you stick it on the car and you pull it out. You pull the dents out. Right. You pull the dents out. It's like glue sticks. They're like glow a glue stick, sticks. but for automotive dent removal. I'd be um, interested. I'd be interested to see if this can actually. It's interesting that they're green. Well, they're not green. You can tell he's colourblind because they are clearly yellow. Um, not yellow green, green. Um, but ah, supposedly yeah. what you're supposed to do. They, yeah, more piss yellow. <laughs> That's worrying because my, <laughs> my piece isn't the same colour as this. Anyway, these, we bought 10 of them. Don't know how many attempts you get, but we'll give it a go, I guess, until it's all fine. Yeah, yeah, I think you just snip it gone. down, didn't you? And then no, you, you just heat up the bottom, keep going, and then just, yeah, whatever, we'll work it out. I'll stick if you heat but, up my bottom. So these, for 10 of these, it has cost £3.98. Cool. And if you've got a dent in your car and you want to get it out, three pounds ninety-eight. Three pounds ninety-eight. Better than going to Rick. What are you even going to a body shop for? You right. want to go and use these? Reviews on it is four point seven. Ooh, one of the highest ranked items that we've weird. had on this table. I almost want to dent my own car just so I can try we, it. We've got a cut. Don't dent it. We will get the dents that Yet. are out of it. Yeah, whatever. So this is from Yo, Yo Shang Yogo Small Hop. I know that. I, I've been there. Yep. Yeah. And it is called the items that it comes under 10 pieces of professional super glue sticks and paintless dent repair strong yellow glue pulling tool. I'm glad it said yellow. So it said yellow. <laughs> so we gotta send you to a doctor to find out what color. Oh, I know I'm color blind. I don't right, need to go okay. to a doctor. <laughs> anyway, so we are gonna try this bad boy as well. See how bad they are. Can't be that bad. Piss yellow, uh, gluey things, which are really sticky when you've got a bit. Yeah, of see, no. right? Green, okay. yeah. But we need a dent. No, that ain't. How did I not dent that? Swifty. <laughs> the indestructible okay. micro. There we go. So oh, we, now nice. have, we now have a nice dent. Ooh, look at that. What we're going to do 
is we are now going to get a flamethrower. Let me get. I can. I can. I can do stuff. Give it to me, baby. Ah, uh -huh. fuck. <laughs> right, just get. Are you I ready? Actually, that actually went. <laughs> okay. Right, go for it. How long, how long do we hold that for? I don't know. Until Stu gets Stu's bored. He's in a very tight position there. There we go. That's the two of us. That's, it, either way, it's made a lot of mess to the car. Oh uh, well. Let's give it two minutes. Two minutes. So a couple of four fell off. Fallen off. All right. That's, oh, not, gone low. that's not even in the dent. It is. So, uh, it's uh, on. Mine sort of five like minutes? holds its own weight now. Have we been here five minutes? Probably about five minutes. Right, so I just... Floppy pistons, we, we need dot on white. On, oh, we'll do three, two, one, then go. Not three, two, on one. So three, two, one, pull, okay? Okay. Three, I'm gonna elbow you in the nuts at this rate. <laughs> three, two, one, pull. <laughs> Uh, Your spaghetti didn't work. No. <laughs> Absolutely it's not. There, isn't it? <laughs> so you're now our dedicated holder. Well, you did such a terrible job of it. I know. Set the bar so low, I might as well have a go. So I've got a, a potential... Like, whenever I've dented one of my cars, I've ended up getting a GoPro mount or something. I remember using... Um, when we used to have sat-navs on the screens, using a sat-nav before as well. Once like have you? Bit of heat on the body panel. A bit of hot water, and then do it. No, you don't put it up. Put it. Put it. It's got to be square out. Three, two, one. <laughs> the thing is, it's better adhesion to me. Yeah. I mean, what's it? Yeah, it's it's cheat in it. Ah. <laughs> Looks a treat. So there you go. You'll most probably. Scooch out of the way. I'll get, get a shot of it. There you go. Look. Let me see if I can. It's done, isn't it? Hang on. There you are. Do not thumbs buy down. these. Thumbs that is down. a thumbs down. That's Get fine. rid of. Laters. In the. That'll do. Bin. Left hander. See. What, right. Um, what review are we giving out? Five. That's that's toilet. that's minus five. Yeah, that's like don't even buy it. They should pay you to try it out. Can throw it at us so we oh, can find out what it is. Thank yes. you very much. Yes. Right, now on to our mystery prize. What is it? Well, I don't know. I ordered loads of crap and I'm trying to look for it and I don't know what it is. Where's my drumsticks? My piss yellow drumsticks. J Swing. <laughs> Car spray nano coating agent. Ah, right, this one. J I saw. Swing. Right. I mean... So hang on, let me find J Swing. Yeah. It is called. Car Nano Repairing Spray instantly removes scratches and restores shine with crystal plating polish. Imagine! So, not only do you get a nano sealant, you get a nice bit of... Bling for it. Scratch gone. Bling for your butt. So again, this is to get rid of your dent man and your body shops. We're going to use all of this on this car because it's got bare dents. For £2.47. 705 reviews and the rating, believe it or not, is 4.3. So it's one of the lowest of today. Out of 40. But it's had 705 item reviews. You squirt it on, I mean, it can't be that bad. You squirt it on. Look at the picture, it basically thing, shows a shag yeah, car and a new paint job. I think it's a totally different fucking car. We have the Nano, the J Swung <laughs> car spray. He's a rapper, really? Nano coating agent. Now, this says that it gets rid of scratches. Nick has just put a scratch in the car. With a titanium Everyone, ring, no less. Have a look, Nick. What have oh, we done no. to the car? Right? Oh, yeah, there she is, there's yeah. a scratch. Also, there's other light scratches around it. Okay, so, so it's gonna make it water repellent. Right. Here we go. Watch this scratch disappear, mate. You watch this. Now, with a nice clean cloth. Here we go. It's gone already. Clean it's cloth. It's gone already. Watch really? it. Bosh. <laughs> 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 right. I can't so, believe that didn't work. <laughs> is we're now going to do the whole bloody bonnet. Right, okay. And we're going to check the nano-ness. The nano-ness? This better look like a brand new paint job afterwards, like it does in the picture. With its nano-ness, right. How nano is that out of, t out of 10? Wow. I'm going to feel how smooth this is. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Watch the water bounce right off Right, it. we're going to check to see if the nano stuff works. 
it's actually done all right. Yeah, it did bounce off. Now no. let's check the beading. Oh. <laughs> You got, to, you got to compare it to the other side. Yeah, yeah, okay. which is going to be no different. <laughs> yeah, the the other side's better! <laughs> the other side is actually better. You've made it worse. Hang on, hang on. How can how that... How can tell something that makes it worse? How can that... Well, look. Right, so... That is worse! Yeah, look, that's, that's nearly gone. Let's and that's still thinking in. about it. Right, that's now gone. That's gripping. Oh, dear. <clears throat> All righty. All right, well, that was a quick one. Uh, zero. Yeah, that's a load of rubbish, that what is. What a load of crap that was. <laughs> Thanks, Timu. Right, so after testing these array of things, now we've got loads more stuff. This isn't obviously the 40 pounds worth that I it's bought. Like 15 quid's worth. But what was your worst product of the lot? Worst and funniest and just worst. I actually left the car in worst condition because I put it into a worst condition. They were shit. Yeah, they work. Like, don't waste your money on that. There's, they're probably going to sell it to you, but at, not, at no point did that even nearly work. It just gave up no. what, the first hurdle. So, no, no. Uh, my worst one was probably the nano spray, the Yoi Swing car spray. It Bit done nothing. Cold. It made, again, made the car worse. There was no nano agent. Yes, it did bounce the bottle off, but it didn't bounce any water off. That made it worse. Now, obviously, this tool, yeah, don't. Don't it did, do it. It did something. It done something, but also buggered two bolts. You would not use it in a practical scenario because no. it just like was rubbish. No, mostly. But, and then the OBD reader, this thing with the disc. He was in second place, that guy. <laughs> second kind of works. It was well, it's better than the other things that we had. So I think, yeah, second place. But the winner, Surprise. nine pound ninety. That's less than a pack of fags. Less than a, yeah, I know. I'm yeah, right. trying to knock down the head. <laughs> but no, so that's cheaper than a pack of fags. That's mad. Right? And that's still £4,990 pounds pounds and, and 40 pence. Cheaper than your five grand. Not that uh, it could do it. everything mine can. So there you go. So out of the five products we reviewed today, this is the winner with a five out of five. Um, but yeah. Get it, it's a tenner. Tell us what you think about the series. We are literally testing crap that people think that may work off of Timo. We're saving you the time. We're trying to save you the time. Yeah. If you've got any ideas of what we should order and try oh, that you've yeah. seen, you've been going, you know what, I've really wanted to try yeah. that. Have a look on Timu, send us the link and go, this is the next thing you should try. We'll waste the, we'll waste the money so you don't have to. Link in the comments below or <laughs> description, whatever, post along. That is it. I've got to say, that was, that was good fun. I proper enjoyed that. I fun. really wanted this to explode. And it fucking didn't. <laughs> I was really annoyed about it. Other that. than that, if you did like the video, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell where you can. Hit the bell and we will see you in the next video. M.A. Look, look, I'm a rock star in real life We was doing Grand Theft Auto's hidden licks Home invasions, it was a good night Take the goods to the plug, then he bring us back by 2K Feeling like a ball of Cedar Jordan on my shoelace Luke Town, stepping on buses, hopping on fences Call of Duty, me and my niggas, we in the trenches Camping at the crib